Yeah, there was music in my house 24 hours. Uh, from my father sometime taking his accordion out, you know, clean it, and you know, when I see him grab his case, I'd, I'd stop what I'm doing and I'd sit down and sit on sit on the floor, Indian style, and watch, and you know, he'd play, and you know, I was mesmerized, and you know, and then, then my father started showing me and telling me things, and you know, and I started really listening, and I started playing to his music and you know playing every song that he could play I started doing that started doing that and even eating dinner you know listening to some of his stories and some of the things he would say would sound like a like a song you know and uh, it was it, it was always a good time uh, 18 I got my band then right after that I had a birthday like a month later when I was 19 then I entered in an, in an accordion contest and then I wound up winning, and that's what really, really gave me a start. Yeah, search for hottest accordion. They was uh, looking for an accordion player that could, back then, appeal to the MTV crowd of VH1. But then uh, when I got on my own, when I was 18 and 19, I'd sit down at night and write songs out. And, you know, and, and hear it in my head, and you know, then when we go play, I tell my guys, look, you know, I want the bass pattern to be like this, you know, I want the drums to be like this, and stop right here, and then, you know, so it's like I had everything mapped out in my head. I just had to relay the message to them. I was playing um, in the French Quarter at a club called La Stratus back in 1999, and and this man came up to me and he said, man, y'all guys are really raising hell, man. Y'all like hell raises. <laughs> and I said, hmm, I like the movie Hell Raisers. That would be a very good name for Ben. <laughs> Dwayne Dupes and the Zodical Hell Raisers. Bourbon really was my teacher. Bourbon was my, uh, was the place, Bourbon was my gym. It, it, it really put me into shape. Uh, it helped me develop my skills. It helped me uh, learn how to entertain a crowd. Learn, you know, I learned so many songs down there. It's, un it's, it's unbelievable. My, my hours on bourbon was uh, get there at eight and be home for about 3.30. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much would sleep all day and get up around two, one, something like that. and relax then go back and do it again. You know, Bourbon and the French Quarter, I, you know, I have to thank a lot for my success because if it wasn't No Crazy Corner or Opera House or The Stratas, I would never exist. I, I'm proud of myself that I've come this, this far with music and being a, a musician that, you know, I've mastered like my art. Mm -hmm.